Hero 5, Hero 6, Hero Session, Hero 5 Session. And what is up with the Fusion? The camera lineup currently offered by GoPro is a little bit confusing. And if you're looking to purchase your first GoPro or maybe just upgrade to the newest version, let's have a jargon-free, not too technical talk about what's currently available from GoPro so that you can figure out what camera's gonna work best for you and where to get the best deals on the GoPro cameras and what you should expect to pay for them. We are talking late 2017, early 2018 here, okay? So nobody wants to be that guy that buys a GoPro and then finds out that there's a new model coming out a week later, right? So just to kind of give you a heads up, GoPro has historically kind of released their models in the fall and they usually let people know earlier in the year, sometimes as early as January, that there will be a new camera coming out so make sure you are subscribed to this channel so that I can update you and if there are any changes to the GoPro lineup check uh, the description below this video and I'll try to keep it up to date with a, an updated blog post or a new video now a couple things I want to mention here the reason why this is a jargon free not too technical look at the current lineup of GoPros is because I'm not a filmmaker or a videographer I'm just a mom with a GoPro and a blog and a YouTube channel. So I'm not gonna get too detailed with things like camera processors and sensors, and I'm not gonna compare footage or anything like that. Uh, I'll put some links below if you're curious about those kinds of details. And although I am a member of the GoPro family, uh, this video is not sponsored by GoPro. Um, I'm actually gonna put links below to all of our favorite retailers uh, where you can check the prices of the GoPros. Cause we're gonna talk about prices a little bit, but I wanna make sure you can get the best deal. So check Target, Walmart, uh, Amazon, Best Buy. I'll put all the links below so you can kind of maybe comparison shop before you pull the trigger. So where do we even start? We have three different form factors here or body style. There's the session. One is the Hero 5 session. The other is just called the Hero session. Um, these are the little cube shaped guys that are, they're kind of like just a lens and a button. There's no screen on the back or anything like that. And then we have the black model, the Hero 5 and Hero 6 black to be specific. These look almost identical as far as the body goes, but it's what's inside that counts, right? We'll talk about the differences between these two in just a moment. Uh, but these have a really nice touch screen on the back. Um, it's a really little camera. It's bigger than the Session, but it's still really little. Here it is compared to my iPhone 6S. And the Fusion is this bigger square shaped camera with a lens on both sides so that it can capture a 360 degree view around itself. So that's kind of cool. This is a brand new model for GoPro. It actually just started shipping a couple days before I'm filming this. It's going to cost you about $700 here in the US and it's probably not what you're thinking of when you think, gee, I'd really like to have a GoPro. So if you happen to be completely new to the GoPro world and you're thinking you'd like to have a GoPro, this is probably not the right camera for you. And if it is, I mean, maybe you are looking for a 360 degree camera, then, you know, hook yourself up. And then can I borrow it? Because I think it'd be kind of fun to play with. I'm really looking forward to seeing what people are able to create with the Fusion camera, but my guess is you're probably looking for either the black or the session models of GoPro. So that leaves us with these guys. I have two sessions. Uh, both of these were actually sent to me by GoPro, but I did purchase the Hero 5 Black. The Hero 5 Black is the one that was released in October 2016, so it's not the most recent model, but it's still fairly new. The Hero 6 was released in September 2017, so the Hero is the newest model. All of these GoPros are waterproof right out of the box. You don't need a waterproof housing or anything unless you are gonna go diving. Now, I have heard people say that they've had problems with water leaking in through the side doors. I throw my GoPros in the pool with my kids and I have never had a problem. And like I mentioned, the Hero 5 Black and the Hero 6 Black are practically identical, but the newer one, the Hero 6, has a completely new and different processor. It's said to work better in low light situations typically a GoPro doesn't really capture that great of an image in low light, uh, but it's supposed to be better and have more vibrant colors. And that's because it has a completely new and different processor uh, from what the previous GoPros had. The Hero 6 also has the ability to capture higher frame rates at 4K resolution than what you can get on the Hero 5, which basically means nothing to me because I don't shoot at 4K. I don't really shoot at high frame rates. 
like I said, I'm not a filmmaker. I'm sure in the future I'll probably be shooting in 4K, but for right now, it just kind of feels like overkill to me. So the improved processor and additional settings options on the Hero 6 comes with a higher price tag. So the Hero 6 retails for $500 and the Hero 5 retails for $400. And depending on the time of year and looking through sale ads, you may even be able to pick up the Hero 5 for about $350. And it may even come with an accessory bundle. I haven't upgraded to the Hero 6 yet because for me personally, the Hero 5 is pretty amazing and I don't really need those higher frame rates. In the videos that I've seen comparing like image quality and the color vibrance and stuff, there is definitely an improvement um, from the Hero 5 black to the Hero 6 black, but I don't know, it's just not, it's not a big enough improvement for me to drop 500 bucks on. Now, if I didn't already own a GoPro and I was looking to buy my first GoPro or maybe upgrade, you know, a model from a couple years ago, then absolutely for sure I would buy the Hero 6. I would definitely get the newest version. Both the Hero 5 and the Hero 6 come with a voice commands option, which to be honest, I thought was a little bit gimmicky at first, but once I started using it, it's actually really handy to just be able to tell your GoPro to start recording. Um, if you are out in the snow and you have winter gloves on your hand or if you have it mounted on your helmet or your head or something it's just it makes a lot of sense and it's a really great feature and they both are gps enabled and they have image stabilization now these guys the hero 5 session and the hero session these look almost identical as well but these are very different on the inside the hero 5 session has the ability to do 4k which the hero session does not it also has image stabilization and voice control which the hero session does not and overall the image quality on the hero 5 session is better than the quality of the Hero Session. And there's a pretty big difference in the price too. The Hero Session is $150, whereas the Hero 5 Session is gonna cost you about 300 bucks. All of these models are Wi-Fi enabled, which means that you can connect the camera directly to your smartphone and then use the GoPro app to control the camera, change the settings, see what the camera's seeing. It's very convenient. And then with the Hero 5 Session and the Hero 5 and 6 Black, you can do the whole thing with GoPros uh, uploading to the cloud thing and you can use the quick stories function. I don't really use those. So you have the entry level, the good, the really good, the little bit better, and then the mind blowing with all the things that the Fusion can do. Like I mentioned, I put links to all of the major online retailers below so that you can check prices. So there you have it. I hope that helps in your purchasing decisions if you're wondering which GoPro is right for you or not. Uh, I recommend them all to be honest with you, but the new this model, of course, is probably going to be the most fun to own. So I'm sitting here editing my video and I realized somehow I lost part of my recording. So it literally end like mid-sentence. Uh, what I wanted to finish up and say is that uh, I, what did I want to say? Yeah, I put links to all of the cameras that I mentioned in the description below this video so you can compare prices. Um, I also have been maintaining something called the Ultimate GoPro Accessory, what is it called? The Ultimate GoPro Enthusiast Wish List. Um, this is kind of like a list of accessories and things that I own and recommend or things that I wish I owned, like a gimbal. Um, and uh, I kind of just I'm keeping like the best brands, the highest rated accessories and things on that list. So you can get there by going to vidpromom.com slash wishlist. I keep that up to date uh, again with links to multiple retailers so that you can compare prices. And if this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you get future videos from me. Also, if you are buying your very first GoPro, I have a... 30 day series. It doesn't take 30 days. They're short videos. Uh, but I have a series of 30 videos on how to get started using the GoPro Hero 5 black. Um, you can watch it if you're using the Hero 6 too because they're practically the same. Uh, so uh, you can check that out. I'll link to that also below or somewhere, you know, up here. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hook you up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Such a nerd!